What's your announcement? You may be seated. And I want to just remind everybody on next Sunday we will be having our Easter program and we will be at Eliza Pentecostal Church starting with Sunday school at 9 o'clock and follow with our Easter program. So that's next Sunday we will be at Eliza Pentecostal Church starting at 9 o'clock with Sunday school and go on to our Easter program, our Easter service. And also Bible study on Monday night at Eliza Pentecostal Church at 7 o'clock. And Bible study on Wednesday night at the Fort Valley Pentecost Church at 7.30. Yeah. And also we thank you, praise the Lord, again for our youth program. Yeah. Praise yeah. unto the Lord. We just thank you, praise the Lord, again for everyone being in the house of the Lord this morning. At this time, we're going to go ahead and do our Bible declaration unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. Everyone stand, please. Everyone stand, please. Raise your Bible up. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. I am what it says that I am. I am what it says that I am. I believe what it says to believe. I believe what it says to believe. I come to the Fort Valley Pentecostal Church. I come to the Fort Valley Pentecostal Church. To be taught the word of God. To be taught the word of God. I will not serve the devil. I will not serve the devil. I will not live in sin. I will not live in sin. Jesus Christ died for my sin. Jesus Christ died for my sin. The blood of Jesus cleansed me from all sin. The blood of Jesus cleansed me from all sin. I am Christ-like. I am Christ-like. I am born again. I am born again. I have power over the devil. I have power over the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's all unto the Lord. Yeah. So at this time, we're going to have Brother Charles welcome to come with our prayer. Let's read him. Yeah, Father, we just thank you for another day. Yes, we thank you for this fourth Sunday you allowed us to enter into, into your courts with thanksgiving and praise. We thank you for the opportunity to hear your word. We ask you to just bless us, Father. Bless the words that you give to your yes, people. Yes, uh, let us like, receive your words with an open heart and open yes, spirit. Lord, Jesus. Yes. We thank you for all the wonderful things you've done for us and take thank the word that you Lord. give us today yes, and apply it to our lives. Yes, Let's Lord. continue to be with us and keep us and strengthen us and endure to the end. Yes, In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We thank and praise the Lord, Brother Charles, with the prayer. Yes. Let us know, pray. We got to pray unto the Lord because yes. He's the one with all our health comes from. Oh, you may be seated again. At this time, we're going to have a song coming from Deacon Lindsay. Amen. Let's bring him back and come forward. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Thank you, praise the Lord, for being here this morning. Yeah, Thank yeah. God for Jesus, head of my life. Thank yeah. God for our pastor, yeah. Pastor Bell, his legacy. Yeah. And all, everyone in their respective place. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Help me sing this song, please. Yeah. He is sweet as I know.
Fellowship, Sweet I Know. Yes, he is. At this time, you may be seated. We thank Prince Lord. We have a scripture coming from Brother Malik. Let's read him as he comes forth. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I will come from Psalms 100, 1-5. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Amen. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye the Lord, that he is God, and as he that has made us, and not we ourselves. Amen. We are his sheep. We are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Enter into the gates, enter into his gates with thanksgiving, yes. and into his courts with praise, and be thankful unto him, and bless his name. Yes. For the Lord is good, yes. and his mercy is everlasting, yes, is. and truth endures unto all generations. Amen. 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 We praise the Lord, we thank praise the Lord, brother Malik. Let us know that God is good, he's good, and to endure to all generations. Thank you. Praise the Lord for that scripture coming from Brother Malik. Thank you. Praise God for him. At this time, we're going to have a song coming from Brother Dion. Let's greet him by saying, Praise the Lord. Love you more than anything. I live my hands in Chronicles 7 and 14. This is a common scripture, you know, uh, you know, uh, if it's people just do it, you know, uh, but here it goes. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then Will I hear from heaven yes. and forgive their sin yes. and will heal their land? Amen. This is a great scripture. It, 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 if, if people, you know, we as a country, we know we name God and our, on our money is in God we trust. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, a lot of times people just don't forget, mm -hmm. you know, and, and people like us, you know, people of God ought to remind everybody. You know, this is what this service is, remind everybody about Jesus. You know, he is the the, the source, our source, you know, in getting for peace. He's the source for that, you know. Uh, you know, he, his peace, you know, is beyond understanding, you know, uh, and everything. But, uh, you know, it just, just listen to these words, you know. If, if you call, if you name that, you 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 got to do this. If things ain't going right, you got to humble yourself. You know, pray, 
seek God's face and turn from your wicked ways, the ways that are not of God. You got to turn from that. You know what I'm saying? Then I will heal from heaven. God will hear you. You know, if you start working toward doing what he likes, he's going to hear you. And, and I will forgive that sin. This is what he wants to do. He wants us to be, he, he will forgive you if you ask. But the key is, you know, humbling yourself and yes. figuring it out that you need help. Amen. You know, uh, we can't make it by ourselves. Amen. You know, the choir sang that song, you know, we're going to need the help of somebody else. Yes. You know, you need the Holy Ghost. Amen. Uh, Amen. That's what it, our country needs at this time, you know, and people who are suffering everywhere just need God. See Amen. God's face. Amen. You know, and like I say, he ready, he ready and willing to forgive and he willing you know, bring the peace. He bring, bring whatever you need, you know. And I just want to leave that scripture with y'all. So y'all, let's do it, you know. You know, that's that's the, that's the thing. Ain't that holding you back, you know what I'm saying? Jesus read it with open arms. And I'll leave that with y'all. It's all about Jesus. We thank you, praise Lord, brother. Freddie, for that scripture. We truly do. And at this time, we're going to have a testimony from Sister Brittany. Let's read it also. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. I give honor to God, to uh, my Lord, the Savior, Jesus Christ, to uh, Apostle Phelps, to Senior Pastor Phelps, um, to Pastor Denner, to Assistant Pastor Denner. To Missionary Marsha, to Etta Roberts, Etta Watkins, Minister Marsha, and every one of y'all in your respective places. Uh, I just want to just give honor and thanks to God just for everything He's done for me in my yeah. life. Um, I came to the Lord as a child and um, didn't do everything right like I was supposed to, but you know, you have to, you actually have to learn how to right. you know, do the right the ways Amen. of the Lord. Yeah. So um, I thank God for this ministry because it really has taught me a lot yeah. how to love the Lord, yeah. God. So whatever you're going through, yeah. always keep Him first in yes. your life yeah. because He's one when nobody else is there, He's right. there. Yeah. And if you need a friend to talk to, He's there. You can talk to Him. Yeah. And, um, you know, I thank him, you know, for keeping me when I was in school right. and everything. Yeah. He kept me, helped me to pass all my classes yeah. and holding down part-time yeah. job and yeah. working, you know, 12 and a half hour shifts and being a full-time student. Yeah. So I thank God for keeping yes. me, you know, yeah. keeping me, keeping my health and yes. strength. Because yes. it was a lot on me. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I thank God for just everything he's done for me, keeping my family. Yes, you know, right. we've dealt with a lot of things yes, throughout right. the years, you know, right. losing family members yes, and everything. Yes, and, right. you know, and all types of things that came yes. upon my family. But I thank God we're still here. Yes. And we to keep us. Yes. And the main thing we got to do is keep our trust in him. Yes. And he's going to keep us, keep us going. Yes. So I thank God for just everything. And I'm pray that y'all continue to pray for me. And I'll be continuing to pray for you all. Lord, we thank you, praise the Lord, for that uh, testimony from Sister Brittany. Let her know what the Lord has done for her and how much she thanked the Lord for all he has done for her. We just thank you, praise the Lord, for that testimony. And also, we just thank you, praise the Lord, again, for everyone being in the house of the Lord this morning. And also, at this time, I want to bring a, a message to her, for um, a message for you this morning. And first, I want you to turn to Psalms to. 121, first song. First yes. 121, song. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody have a say amen. 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 Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait on everyone to get it. Yes. Uh -huh. Psalms 121. Amen. Okay. <laughs> This morning, I already had thought about this uh, scripture yesterday. Um, after I found out when I was going to be in charge of the youth program, and I started looking at I was looking at this scripture last night, and it was brought forth this morning as well. And I said, I said, thank you, Lord. <laughs> and uh, and what? Okay, everyone have, and I want to read. I will lift up my eyes unto the hill which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, yeah. which made heaven and earth. Yeah. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He will keep thee, will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber or sleep. Yes. The Lord is thy keeper. Yes. The Lord is thy 
shade upon the, the right hand. Yes. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor by moon by night. Right. The Lord shall preserve thee from yes. all evil. Mm -hmm. He shall preserve their soul. Yes. The Lord shall preserve their going out and yes. their coming in yes. from this time forth and forevermore. Yes. Right. And let me know this morning, the, with all my help, it comes from the Lord. Yeah. All our help comes from the Lord, no matter what it is. Amen. We have to seek the Lord for yeah. it. Because all our help, yeah. everything we have, it comes from the Lord. Amen. Let us know that, that he was the, he the maker of heaven and earth. Amen. And he said he, he will help protect you. Yeah. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. Yeah. He will be, he will, he's there in the nighttime. Yeah. As well as the daytime. Yeah. Don't matter what come upon you, whether day yeah. or night, the Lord will be there. And we yeah. allow him to be there. Yeah. And he said, he said, even like he said, so, that you nothing gonna happen to you. Because it let you know, even when we go through things, the Lord is there. Yeah. He will be there to sustain us and bring yeah. us through. Yeah. So he let us know the Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. Yeah. He shall preserve their soul. Yeah. He, will, he will preserve your soul. Yeah. Even when you're going through things, yeah. when things come up in your life, yeah. whether it's sickness, yeah. every, anything, right. the Lord is still there. Yeah. He will be there for you. Yeah. He will be there to sustain you. Yeah. He will be there to help you to go through that. Yeah. Like I said, tests going to come. Yeah. But those tests are there for a purpose. Yeah. But we got to continue to depend and trust the Lord. Yeah. We can't leave to our own understanding, yes. know what we think it should be, yes. but we have to continue to trust God. Because yes. you trust God, He will see you through. Yes. No matter what it is, we got to trust God for it. What sickness, you got to trust God for it. When it comes to things on your job, you got to trust God for it. Stuff in your home, you got to trust God for it. Because the Lord will sustain us. The Lord is there. Now, let me say, no matter the day, noon, Night, the Lord will be there. You know, because even with family members, you know, you got people that you consider to help you at times. You got friends, family members, you might call on for help. But there's some times you can't get your family member, but you can call on the Lord. Because that family member might be out of time. That family member might not be near the phone. That family member might not be anywhere you can get close to them at that time. But God is there. God is there. for your help, you got to call on the Lord. Continue to trust in Him. You see, no matter, like I said, you got friends. Sometimes they them. Sometimes friends will turn their back on you. Sometimes other people, but the Lord will not turn His back on you. He will be there. You got to continue. We have to continue to serve the Lord, trust in Him, do what is right. The Lord going to be there for us. No matter what we go through. You know, so, like I said, family member, they'll be there. Family member, there. But sometimes they can't be there. Because they might be in a situation, they can't, you can't talk to them. They, it might be 3 o'clock in the morning. You might be going through something, but you can call on the Lord. Call on the Lord. He'll be there. Family member might can't. Family member might not hear the phone ring. But the Lord is there. We have to continue. Let us, let us know today. All our help come from the Lord. And we have to continue to trust in Him. He will preserve us. He will preserve us. And I want you to, at this time, to turn to um, Luke, the eighth chapter. Let us know some people in the Bible knew all their help come from the Lord. Because other than that, they couldn't do it. Because there's, there's some situations coming like we can't tend to. We're not going to be able to work it out. But Lord can. Okay, I want you to turn to Luke, the eighth chapter. And I want to start reading at the 41st verse. Thank you, Lord. It said, be, if, wait till everybody get it. Okay, everybody got it? Amen. It said, Behold, there came a man named Jairus, and he was a ruler of the synagogue. Amen. He fell down at Jesus' feet and besought him that, that, that he would come to his house. Amen. So we see this little ruler. That's right. Well, it's still but he know who can help him. Yes. He coming to the right sword, yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. That's who he coming. So he fell down at the feet of Jesus. Yes. And he said he want Jesus to come into his house. Yes. So let's go on. Let's go on a little bit further. It said, for he had only one, only one daughter. 
about 12 years of age. And she lay a dying. But as he went, as he went, the people thronged him. Okay, we can see this man, Jairus, came to Jesus and see the condition of his daughter. He let him know he only had one. Only one daughter. But his daughter, they let him know the age. She was 12 years old. But she laid, she was laying, she was dying. This daughter was dying. But we can see all these people was around Jesus. But you can see, he still knew the right source to go to. He didn't let that deter him. Sometimes we see a lot of people around, we say, okay, I can't make it, cause, uh, I can't get to Jesus. Or I can't get to that person. But we can see, he didn't care. Because he know his daughter, health come from who? Jesus. He know this, the only one could save his daughter, keep her from the situation she was in. Okay, so it goes on a little further. We're going to go a little further and say, and a woman having an issue of blood, 12 years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed or any, came behind him and touched the border of his gun. And immediately her issue of blood stained her. Okay? Status her. Okay, so let us know. This lady, she had been suffering with an issue of blood yeah. for all these years. Oh, yeah. But she knew the right source to go to, too. Yeah. Like I said, we we has all these people around her, around Jesus. Mm -hmm. It didn't matter. She still know where her help come from. Yeah. Yeah. So she had this issue of blood. She done went to all these doctors. Yeah. They couldn't help her. Yeah. They did what they could. Yeah. But that's some situation doctor can't do. Yeah. Some things doctor can't do. Yeah. But Jesus can. Yeah. Jesus can. She came to the right source. Yeah. Okay, so it goes on, but let us know what she did. She didn't say, I got to speak to Jesus. I just want to touch the border of his garment. Yeah. But let us know once she touched that garment, the issue of blood was dried up. Yeah. She no longer had that condition. Yeah. She, didn't, she didn't talk to Jesus, but she just touched his garment. Yeah. But that's the faith she had. Just as long as I touch him, I know I'll be here. So go, let them know this, this issue of blood, it was dried up. It was no longer, she had the issue of blood. Goes on, he said, and Jesus said, who touched me? Amen. When all denied, Peter said, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude throng thee and pressed thee and say, thou who touched me? So all, like they begin to say, Jesus, you asking this question, how we gonna know who touched you? All these people around you? And you asking them who touched you? Amen. But see, Jesus knew. That's right. Because we can go on. Yes. Even though, like I said, they saying, well, you know, they looking like, hey, all these people around you, Jesus. Amen. Now you asking me who was the one that actually touched the hem of your garment or the bottom of your garment? Yes. Okay, but then it goes on and let us know. He said, Jesus said, somebody faith touched me. For I perceive the virtue is gone out of me. So he knew this person that touched him, they had some faith. Yes. They had faith in Jesus. No, Jesus, I just touch your hem on your garment, I shall be healed. Yes. Not maybe, I shall be healed. They had that kind of faith. Yes. And Jesus felt this. Yes. He, it was in a way that Jesus felt. Yes. Because like you said, all these people was around Jesus. Yes. So you look at the natural eye, how would you know who touched you? Yes. But Jesus knew. Because yes. he felt it. He let them know the virtue is gone out of me. So that's what he began to tell Peter and them, I know. Because uh -huh. I can tell. Because yeah. somebody, that person touched me, the virtue went out of me. Because yeah. Yeah. he said, I know, I perceive. Yeah. For, I, for I perceive that the virtue is gone out of me. Uh -huh. And when the woman saw that she was Hallelujah. not hid, she came trembling and fell down before him. She declared unto him before all the people yes. for what cause she had touched him Amen. and how she was healed Amen. immediately. Yes. She began, and while she saw that, oh, I'm not in a position, I'm behind everybody, so he can see. So she came out, she was afraid. She trembling, because she don't touch the hem of Jesus. Going, Jesus is going to be up there preaching. You're going to come touch him and rub his preaching. So that's why, you know, sometimes we feel like I can't interrupt the preacher or whatever. But you, this lady knows she had a need. Yes. She had a need. Yes. But so she began and she fell down before him and she could declare before the people, let her know she did it and why she did it. And she said, and he said, she was immediately healed. Yes. Because she had faith. Faith, faith in Jesus. Yes. She didn't talk to Jesus. Yes. She didn't have to come before him, yes. but she 
Just say, if I can touch his hem or his garment, yeah. I know I'll be yeah. made yeah. Him whole. And she was made whole because of the faith she had in Jesus Christ. Because we got to realize all our help comes from the Lord. Yeah. This lady knew her help came from the Lord. Yeah. It didn't matter about the situation. It didn't matter about what all the people was around. She knew her help came from the Lord. The same thing with Jerry. He knew, even though he had a position as a ruler, yeah. but he knew yeah. his daughter was there dying. Yeah. So he knew that's where my help gonna come from, my daughter's help. Yeah. It's gonna come from Jesus. Yeah. So you gotta, we gotta know where our help come from. Yeah. Our help come from the Lord. Yeah. Cause see, even with this lady here, she had gone to the doctor. Yeah. The doctor did probably what they could. But there's something the doctor can't do. There's something family can't do. But God can. But God can. He can. He can. So we got to remember how our help come from the Lord. No matter what situation is, it come from the Lord. So like I said, it was Jared. You, this is his daughter in the position. She dying. She dying. So people can't. So, so you with the doctor, they can only do so much. But well, like I said, Jesus came. Yes, yes. Jesus came. And they knew who to go to, the right source. Okay, let's go on a little farther. Okay, it said, and he said unto her, daughter, be a good comfort. Thou faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. Let them know, your faith hath made you complete whole. You're whole now. Because of the faith you had in Jesus Christ. Okay, it said, go in peace. He said, go in peace. Okay, go on and say, why he, yes, sped there, came one of the ruler of the synagogue house, saying to him, that daughter is dead. Trouble not the master. But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole. Yeah. So why this had happened with the lady with the issue of blood, why Jesus talking, speaking to her, one of the, the ruler of the, of the the people of the ruler of the synagogue house had came and let them know, don't trouble the master no longer. Don't trouble Jesus no more. Because your daughter, she's dead. Yeah. She, so you ain't no use you troubling the master anymore. Amen. But then Jesus heard this. Amen. And Je but Jesus Amen. said, Amen. and when Jesus heard it, he answered yeah. and said, fear not. Believe only. Mm -hmm. And she, she shall be made whole. Yeah. He said, don't fear. Well, he don't told you. What is it? This guy, the person from the synagogue of your house came and told you, don't fear. But believe only. Believe only. And she shall be made whole. So you gotta have that faith. You gotta have faith. You gotta believe it. Then it can take place. Okay. Goes on. And he said, And when he came into the house, he suffered no man to go in, saying, Peter and James and John. And the father and the mother of the maiden, and all wept and wallowed her. Be, but he said, Weep not. She is only she is not dead, but sleepless. Uh -huh. So and we can see when they, he actually goes in the house, and he, he only allowed John and James and Peter to go in and the maiden mother to go in. Because all the other people, they crying because they said she dead. Yeah. So all them crowd, they go home, you know, woo woo, she crying. They crying because they said she dead. But he began to learn, so he said, we not. That's right. She's not dead. That's she just right. sleeping. Yeah. She just sleeping. Yeah. She's not dead. Yeah. So that's what Jesus began to let them know. Jesus said, she's not dead. She's sleeping. Yeah. Okay. It goes on and said, and they laugh him to scorn. Knowing that she was dead. So when Jesus said it, they began to laugh. Ha, 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 this funny. Yeah. We know she's dead. Yeah. They already said she's dead. And you come and say she's not dead? Uh -huh. So we know this. So they laugh again to laugh at him to scorn. Yeah. Because they said, I know that she's dead. Right. She's gone. Right. Okay. And he put and he put them all out. Uh -huh. And took her by the hand. Mm -hmm. And called her name. Called the maiden. Arise, mm -hmm. yeah. and her spirit came again, mm -hmm. and she arose straightway, yes. and he commanded to give her meat. Right. We can see. I would see when they was laughing and all that they didn't believe. He put them out. Yes. The one didn't believe. He put them out. Yes. He didn't need no uh, believers in there. Yes. He needs some believers in it. Yes. So he put them out. Yes. So when he put them out, so then we can see what happened. Mm -hmm. He put forth 
Okay, put them all out. Mm -hmm. He took her by the hand and called her name, called her saying, mate. Yeah. And arrive, and we can see what happened. Yeah. This this girl was alive again, yes. again. Yes. She was no longer dead. She was alive. Yes. We can see because this man Jairus knew what all his help yes. come from the Lord. Yes. He knew this. He knew his help came from the Lord. He didn't worry about what the circumstance was, the situation was. Because like I said, when he came. He said he did the daughter day. He could have said, you know, Jesus, don't oh yeah, I know what you're saying, Jesus, go ahead. I don't, you know it's too late. Yeah. But he did. That's right. But he did. So Jesus began to let him know. Yeah. In that verse over here said, unto her, her daughter, be a no, excuse me. Go ahead and say, Fear not, believe on it, and she shall be made whole. That's right. She shall be made whole. But you gotta believe. That's why the old people, when they weren't believing, yeah. weren't going to believe it. He had to put them out. Yeah. He only needs some believers in there. Yeah. And sometimes in your life, you got people that go to say, no, nah, uh -huh. can't do that. Yeah. Don't work that way. Yeah. Don't want to believe it. They will wear your spirit down. You can't say, you got to get rid of those people. You got to cast them out. Get them away from you. Because you got to remember, I'm trusting in the Lord. Yeah. I'm not going to leave to my own understanding. Yeah. 